so for um, number 24, we are uh, asked to determine whether um, the se sequence over here, whether it converges or diverges. And so um, a sequence converges if it tends to a defined limit as n goes to infinity. So what we have to do here is find, we have to find the limit as n approaches infinity of n cubed over n cubed plus one. And so when we uh, when we have a rational expression like this, we can think of the n cubed, since n is going to infinity, having as much influence as this n cubed um, on the bottom, right? So it's like we're going to have a division of infinity over infinity, and that plus one is going to become irrelevant. Um, and so this looks like it's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio, but we do have to prove it. So what we do here is we divide, um, we divide everything by one over n3 on top and on the bottom. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, n cubed divided by n cubed is one over, um, once more, one plus one over n cubed. And so if we look at this, um, it's going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of, um, actually, this is going to be equal to 1 over 1 plus the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n cubed. And now as n approaches infinity, um, we're going to have 1 divided by a really large number, right? Because that number is cubed. So one, the limit of 1 divided by um, a really, really large number, this tends to 0. And so this is equal to 1 over 1 plus, and this limit goes to 0, so that's going to be 0, since anything divided by a large number becomes very, very small, and then this is equal to 1 over 1. Um, and so since the limit exists, we can say that a n converges just because the limit is 1. And we we kind of could tell this intuitively because here we saw that it has a proportion in the cubes of 1 to 1, right? So that probably meant that the limit was going to go to 1.